and thanks for stopping by my channel. So today I'm gonna do a little get ready with me. I've never done that before. I had some people request it a long time ago. I don't know if they're still watching my channel or not, but I thought I'd go ahead and show you how I do my makeup. This is how you should probably not do your makeup because I don't know what I'm doing, clearly. Let's show your palette. I finally found a use for my Ulta box. I am storing the makeup that I'm going to be using today. All of these products. I need to use almost all of these products to look good. Isn't that sad? <laughs> and then this bag is all lip products. I know, don't judge me. I went through I went through a lip product buying craze. So anyways, the first thing I'm gonna do is moisturize my lips. I'm gonna use Dr. Lip. Fun fact, if you get cracked dry lips often, it could be a sign that you're dehydrated, so drink water. There is no right or wrong way to do makeup. Makeup is a form of self-expression. If you wanna do it a certain way, there are lots of tutorials, this is not one of them. Um, the first thing that I do is my eyes. So I'm gonna go ahead and prime them. I'm gonna be using the Milani eye, eye lid primer. You're probably like, oh, and you need to pluck your eyebrows first if that's what you do. I already did that. People tell me I overpluck. They're not wrong. Now the reason I do my eyes first is because I'm used to be wearing cheaper eyeshadow that has lots of fallout. So if it falls out on my face, it's not a big deal. It's not gonna ruin my foundation or my setting or anything like that. Um, so if I make a mistake, it's not an issue. All right, this is not where I normally do my makeup, so this is very awkward to me. <laughs> so here's the palette. Any suggestions? I wish I could hear you. I wish you guys could be like, yeah, pick this one, pick this one. Put it away and don't even bother. Um, I'm. So I guess I have to do a transition shade first. It's really good to start with clean brushes. I am not going to, but I usually do clean my brushes on a regular basis. I just didn't. So I'm gonna go with sugar cane. All right. Oh my, okay. It's very pink. <whistles> Mixing with the color that's already on the brush, sometimes you can create your own colors. Don't recommend that, <laughs> but you know. Some makeup people do one eye at a time. I like to do them both at the same time, so I don't have to keep switching brushes because I'm lazy. Your guess is as good as mine is how this is gonna turn out. Some people say you should use it, you should, you should use it from, you should hold your brush from the tip of the brush. I like to really like poke the ever living crap out of my eyeball. I feel like I have more control that way. Also, I have hooded eyes. If you're unfamiliar with what hooded eyes are, basically it's the Neanderthal skull where your brow bone is over top of your, your the lid of your eye, which means your eyes kind of, they look sunken in. And I know that there is a way to do your makeup for hooded eyes, but if you know me and my channel, you know we're not gonna do that. When in doubt, Blend, blend, blend. And when you're tired of blending, you haven't blended enough. <laughs> um, let's go with Tongue Pop, right here. A lot of times because I blend so ferociously, 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 I end up getting fallout no matter how good the makeup is, which is why I don't put foundation on first. We've got a nice base with which to work on. Some people go up here, I don't, cause I'm afraid to. I just do the lid. Some people go out here, I don't. Makeup is personal. Personally, I suck at it. All right, next we're gonna go with cherry soda. Cherry soda, oh. And then you get it all over your fingers too. I'm very messy. As I start getting darker, I do less of the eye. I go towards the outer ed corner of the eye, the darker I go. I'm pretty sure there are 14 year old YouTubers out there that could show you how to do a really good, awesome makeup. I am not at their level yet. Maybe one day. You want me in the video? You want to be in the video? Yeah, like this. No. No. Definitely not. No. Go put some pants on, you hippie. I'm looking really sickly. <laughs> I'm gonna go with extraction next. I don't know why. I don't know how I pick my colors. It just, I just do. And I want to go even darker on the side, so I'm gonna go with this coma color. The great thing is that I'm married. I've been with my husband for a long time. So no matter what I look like, he loves me. <laughs> Even when I, I put makeup on like this, the way I know I'm done is I'm tired of doing it and I've got makeup all over my face. Sorry. So the only time I ever use a makeup wipe is as an eraser because I always get makeup under here, which is odd because I'm gonna put makeup back under there, but I don't want it to be that color. 
You know you're bad at makeup when part of your routine consists of wiping some of them, some of the makeup off. Uh, some of you asked for this. I don't know why, but thanks for the idea. I'm not done with my eyes yet, but we need to move on. Need to moisturize. Even though I have an oily face, I do have combination skin. So I'm going to use Glam Glow, Nude Glow, Glow Starter, Mega Illuminating Moisturizer. There's no rhyme or reason. Just spackle it on there. Oh, I always use clean hands. I don't think that goes without saying. Next step in my 500 step process is primer. Some people don't use primer. I need primer because I have crater face. And this helps make a smooth surface. It also helps to keep the foundation sticking to your face. It is really snowing out. We're supposed to be getting up to five inches today and I have to take my animals to the vet. <gasps> Luckily, my husband's home, so he's going to take me. Oh, by the way, this is by L'Oreal Magic Illumina... Illu Lumi, Magic Lumi. So if you don't like the way this looks, then these are the products you don't use, I guess. Is Phoenix usually here when I do my makeup? Yes, in the other room, he is. And I have to be careful that he doesn't steal it or step on it, or whatever. Break it. All right, now we have a primed face. Uh, like I said, everyone's different. Um, I use a beauty blender. I feel like it works the best on my skin. So I have a moistened, this is not a beauty blender, this is by Real Techniques, but I do have a beauty blender, I still know where it is. I'm gonna be using two foundations. I'm gonna be using Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place. The color is number one, Alabaster. But I find that it's a little bit pale, like that even exists for me. So I mix in a little bit of Fit Me Matte Poreless by Maybelline. And this is for normal to oily skin in the color 112. A little dab. I only have so much face skin, you know. Mix it with this almost see-through white color. Like that. My finger. Sorry. And I just professionally, with great care. How you doing, baby? Mix this up. And then I just boop, 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 boop. Get some on my sponge here. And go to town and I'll be back because this tip probably takes the longest. And I'm not gonna make you watch it. It's important you get your jawline and possibly some of your double chin. Just so there's not like a weird line there to distinguish from one chin to the other. It's an illusion, people. Next up is setting powder. I have this brush, which also needs cleaned. And I'm gonna be using Laura Mercier setting powder. I'm pretty sure it's still translucent. All right, at this stage, your face should have no color to it whatsoever. We've made it all one color basically. And now we have to add color to make it look like we're not dead. I use this butter bronzer by Physicians Formula. It's the lightest color they make. Titus, I do a little swirly swirl, a little tappy tap, and go up in here. I use the lightest color because I'm very pale, but also so that if I mess up, it's not a huge deal. Then you need to add a little blush to show that you have blood in your body. You're not a vampire. The trick with blush is the older you are, the higher you should go on your cheekbones. I mean, there's no right or wrong way, okay? But, and I kind of go up the side too. But the lower you go on your cheekbones, the older you kind of look. So if you're blessed with high cheekbones, that's great. If you're not, go up. There, now it looks like we have blood in our body. If you go a little too hard on it, you're gonna look like you have road rash, like I seem to be doing. All right. Next up that I do is my eyebrows. I love this. I actually ordered a new one. I'm gonna continue using this one until it's dead. This is a NYX eyebrow thing. One size is fully, which you just brush your eyebrow hair. My eyebrows never look consistently like they belong on the same body. But, c'est la vie, and it has a retractable pencil. And you're just gonna try to give your brows some shape and fullness. Look 
Please get off of me. And blend it in. I'm not going for perfect. I never go for perfect. Eyeliner. So I use this um, Estee Lauder volum Voluminous Voluminous Smoldering Eyeliner. It's a, just a wood pencil. I can't do... Oh, this is weird. I can't do liquid eyeliner and I put it way in my waterline. Nice look at my sclera there. They say you shouldn't pull on your face. It ages you. Honey, everything ages you. Okay. So I'm still not done with my eyes yet because I never do anything easy. So I like to put a contrasting color under my eyelid on my lower lash line. I don't know why, I just do. And I don't know what color to use and I'm only using this palette today because I don't feel like digging out the other ones. I want something that pops. So I'm going to go with Root Canal. Lovely purple shade. try Revlon Volumizing and I don't know where my eyelash curl, I know where it is, I just don't feel like getting it so I'm not going to curl my lashes, I'm just going to do them. Ow. Alright, now we're going to do lips. Oh god, what color am I going to use? You want to pick one for me? <laughs> Start with this MAC liquid lip in the shade High Drama. See what happens. Not sure what lining on today. I'm gonna put some Jeffree Star Unicorn blood on top. Oh yeah, let's try um, Destiny by the Ulta brand, a Frida collection on top of that. Very dark. And I'm gonna top it off with a gloss by Le uh, Jeffree Star. I didn't think I was going to go that dark with my lipstick today, but I'm feeling it today now all of a sudden. It takes away from my tr my terrible eye look, right? Let's. I've never tried this one before. This is, um, what is this? Ice Cold by Jeffree Star. What is this going to do? Oh, God. We shall see. Oh. Okay. Right. So there you have it. Let me go do my hair right now. I'm not gonna torture you that, to that. This video is 45 minutes. I need to get it to five, 15. I don't know how. Let me go do my hair and I'll be right back. So this is it, you guys. This is the final look. I'm getting very goth feeling from this look. What do you think? I straightened my hair, my already straight hair. So that's it. That's my get ready with me. Thank you guys so much for watching and stick around because there are giveaways coming. You bet your sweet chihuahua there are. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.